Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas. This is Jessica Lynn from JessicaLynnOriginal.com. I am so excited to share a brand new digital rubber stamp we have available at our website. It is the Christmas Chihuahua. It is so cute. What I love about it is that it's a digital stamp. Um, for those of you that have never seen a digital stamp before, um, at the end of the video I will link it or down below I'll also link more about a digital stamp in case you have any questions. Basically you go out to our website, you download them, print them off to the size you desire. So if you're looking to make a huge 8x10 page, you could do that if you want you know, 50 small chihuahuas on a page, you can do that too. Please know with digital stamps though, uh, they are for personal use only, not for mass production. Um, you can sell the cards that you make using them or crafting products, but we do ask that you put on there that the stamp itself came from JustGlennOriginal.com and you can't use it for mass production of like your own line of custom stamps or something because we do copyright all of our imagery so please don't do that that's stealing so with this adorable little stamp though you can download it make some really fun cards and that's what we're doing so i'm gonna go ahead and color in these adorable little chihuahuas with my copic markers and it, again if you've never used digitals before i will link the video so you can find out how to download how to print them etc it's really easy and if you say, well, I don't have a printer that works really well, a lot of my design team members and past design team members have actually sent them off to Kinko's to get printed just so that they know that it's, you know, nice and solid on the paper. One of the things that I really like about our dog stamps is that I don't do a lot of markings on the dogs because then you can customize it to make it look like your dog. So like your Chihuahua or whatever dog breed you are coloring in. For the bows and the wreaths, I started by coloring it in with Copic markers. And then what I'm going to do is after it's done and filled in, I'm going to go back with glitter pens and go all over the entire uh, dog wreath as well as the bow.
One of the tricks that I use is I will typically use at least two colors of glitter pen, a lighter one and a darker one, because it helps get some more tones within whatever I'm coloring. The other thing I really like is that the red was working really, really well. And if you watch, there's these tiny little red berries all over the little wreaths. And what I love is even after I've colored it with Copics, colored it with glitter pens, I can still go over it with the glitter pen and get beautiful, bold red dots all over the neck piece. Once I have that all set, I'm going to go ahead and instead of using my brother's skin and cut, which I typically do, um, I've had a lot of requests from people saying, well, what if I don't have a brother's skin and cut? Can you show me? I'm just going to cut it out. You can fussy cut it, make it look just as beautiful. Oh my goodness, they look so cute just sitting there together. I love it. Now it's time to pick out the paper for the card. I definitely have a thing for stripes. I love them. I think they always bring some interest to a card. Once I went ahead and picked the papers, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try something that I did this summer. I made a bulldog card and I made it out of two cat scrapping as dies and I basically put them on the white paper that I wanted it on and then I used a little bit of tape just to hold it down and I'm going to run it through my cuddle bug. What I love about this is it allows me to get more dimension and I love the cat scrappiness die because it has these little stitch lines around it. Love that. So I'm going to go ahead and run it through really quick. I absolutely love the way this looks when it's done. I think it's so cute. So now what I'm going to do is find paper to fit in that window because I don't want it to show the same background stripe paper behind there. So I went ahead and found this really cute uh, Christmas tree paper and what I'm going to do is actually cut it 
just a little bit bigger than the window. And then what I'll do is actually tape it to the back because I don't want to glue it because then it's permanently on. I want to make sure that there's room for me to be able to push the dogs in there because I want to have some dimension. So what I'm going to do is use some tape and I'm going to tape both the bottom and the top but not the sides. I just want it not to move but I don't want it permanently down if that makes any sense. Then I'm going to go ahead and get the Jessica Lynn Original Brentwood Owl Operation Snowball Christmas Clear Photopolymer Stamp Set. And this stamp set, I absolutely love it. It is available on our store catalog right now. Uh, this font uh, is actually my handwriting. And what it says is wishing you the happiest of holidays. And after a mishap that I had last summer, I learned that I need to make sure I stamp this before I put it on the card. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Close to My Heart ink. And I'm going to stamp it down on the bottom right hand side of the little Polaroid. It is so exciting to see a stamp of my handwriting. It's so fun to go, oh, that, like I didn't write that. Um, I did, but I mean, I didn't write it to make it show up on the card, so. It is one thing that I love is that I do have as a lefty, um, clear, uh, legible handwriting. Um, I worked on it very hard when I was younger so that you'd be able to read it. And um, I think I was pretty successful, I love it. I love the way this card looks. It's really stepping up to be something amazing. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put the two chihuahuas in the card. Now originally you saw that I had designed three of them to put in there. And I'll show you. I put three in originally and it was just way too crowded in that card. It's cute. I'm not saying it's not cute, but it was way too crowded. Now maybe it would have been really cute if I would have put like three foam risers behind them and... So maybe, but I, I opted for the card to only have two. Um, I think it just looks a little less cluttered and I wanted to keep the card as clean as possible. So I decided with the white and gray Chihuahua and the little traditional tan colored Chihuahua. Um, the one that looks like he was colored like a miniature pincher almost. Um, I'm going to make another card with him. I've got another idea. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on these Chihuahuas and let's get them stuck down.
After I got the stripe paper attached and I signed my card, I'm going to go ahead and add this Polaroid. Now a couple options, I probably could have used a foam riser or two, you know, just to bring some dimension to it, which would have brought a nice shadow. I decided with this whole card, I was just going to go ahead and glue it all down. I thought, you know what, this time let's, even though I probably, like I've said before, should take stock in the foam risers, I thought it would be fine just to go ahead and glue them down. And I opted to put them, again, just like the Polaroid, kind of further up on the card page with a larger border at the bottom than on the top. Go ahead and glue that down really good. And again, this one was inspired by my Bulldog card, so I will put this one, uh, I'm sorry, we'll put the Bulldog at the end um, so that if you wanted to see what that looked like, you could see the comparison there. But I am really happy with this card. If you love these adorable little, oh, wait a minute, I forgot to color the ornaments. I'll have to get a little coloring pen here and just color those in. But I do love the little bit of sparkle, the glitter. I think it's just that little extra. I went ahead and grabbed a turquoise, um, like a like a turquoisey blue color, and I'm going to color the ornaments in that color. I thought, let's just introduce one more color to this palette, and I really like that I added blue. I think it looks really pretty. Silver probably would have been really nice too, maybe gold, or even red would have been nice. Well, I do want to say thank you so much. If you've never watched one of my videos before or don't know what my stamps are, thanks for taking a chance of watching with me. If you have been with us, I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I am so inspired by the people that I work with and my design team and all of my amazing customers and fans. I appreciate you guys so much. These stamps are available at jessicalinoriginal.com. Thank you again and happy holidays.